In the heart of Denmark, amidst the serene landscape of Jotland, lies a tale shrouded in mystery and antiquity. The story of Toland Man, an individual who lived over 3,000 years ago during the Iron Age. Toland Man's existence was unknown until a fateful discovery in 1950 revealed his remarkably preserved remains offering a rare glimpse into a past long obscured by time. Tornman's journey from obscurity to historical significance began on May 6, 1950, when two brothers Viggo and Emil Hodgegaard ventured into the Bijelskovdal peat bog near the village of Tolund. As they cut peat for fuel, they stumbled upon what appeared to be a human face. Astonishingly, it was Toland Man's face, frozen in time as if he had just fallen asleep. The initial shock of the discovery soon gave way to a complex web of questions. Who was Toland Man? How had he come to rest in the depths of the bog? Why was he so exceptionally preserved? The answers to these questions would reveal not just the individual behind the face, but also the religious and cultural practices of the ancient communities that thrived in Denmark. Tolundman's preservation was a testament to the unique environment of the bog. The bog's combination of acidic water, low oxygen levels, and cool temperatures acted as a natural preservative, halting the usual processes of decay. Tolundman's body, though over three millennia old, bore an uncanny resemblance to a sleeping individual. His closed eyes' serene expression and even the stubble on his chin spoke of a life frozen in time. The forensic examination of Tolenban's remains provided intricate details about his life, diet, and cause of death. Through radiocarbon dating, scientists determined that he lived during the early Iron Age around 400-300 BCA. His age at death was estimated to be in his early 30s. His last meal, a porridge of various seeds, gave insights into the dietary habits of the time. It appeared that Toland Man's diet was consistent with that of the agrarian communities of the era. However, it was Toland Man's manner of death that was most perplexing. His neck bore the unmistakable mark of a rope, indicating that he had been hanged. Yet, the circumstances surrounding his death defied easy explanation. Unlike the violent end that often accompanies hanging, Toland Man's body bore no signs of struggle. His face exhibited an eerie calmness, prompting speculation that he might have been drugged or rendered unconscious before the execution. Toland Man's peaceful countenance hints at a deeper layer of meaning. That his demise was not a typical execution, but rather a ritual sacrifice. As researchers delved into the practices of Iron Age societies, they unearthed evidence suggesting that bogs held profound spiritual significance for these communities. Bogs were not merely physical landscapes. They were also liminal spaces bridging the realms of the living and the supernatural. In the context of these beliefs, Toland Man's sacrifice begins to take shape. The meticulous preservation of his body, along with the positioning of his arms and legs, hinted at a carefully orchestrated ritual. It is speculated that Toland Man's sacrifice was part of a religious practice that sought to communicate with the divine or appease otherworldly forces. His serene expression and the deliberate manner of his death suggests that his sacrifice was approached with reverence and solemnity. Toland Man's discovery reverberated far beyond the confines of the bog. His remarkably preserved remains, once obscured by the earth, became a window into the past, a past inhabited by individuals whose beliefs, practices, and aspirations had been woven into the fabric of the land. The story of Toland Man spoke to the enduring human quest for meaning, connection, and transcendence. Today, Toland Man's legacy leaves on in museums and research institutions where his remains continue to be studied by archaeologists, anthropologists, and historians. His presence transcends the confines of time, allowing us to stand on the threshold of history and peer into a world that existed millennia ago. Toland Man's story is a testament to the power of preservation, inquiry, and imagination. His discovery challenged our understanding of ancient societies and prompted us to reevaluate the multifaceted nature of human existence. Toland Man, the Danish man who lived 3,000 years ago, reminds us that the echoes of the past continue to resonate in our present, urging us to contemplate the profound interconnectedness of all human lives across time and space.